Hi there and welcome to the new video tutorial on the Google Data Studio and in this video we will going to look at how you can create a bar chart within the Google Data Studio. So bar chart is a very common chart as you would probably know which is useful in doing the comparison of categories. So for example you have different customer categories then you can compare those. Similarly you have product categories you can compare those let's say for sales or for profit. Uh, based on the needs of your uh, analysis. So how you can create a chart is by coming over here you have add chart box and in that you have the column chart or the bar chart over here. You have the different categories uh, whether it's a column chart or a stack bar chart, 100% stack bar chart a normal bar chart but with the uh, horizontal orientation so this is vertical orientation and this is horizontal orientation and same stack bar chart and 100% stack bar chart for the horizontal orientation so let's create a standard column chart over here and uh, select just drop it over here by clicking there by default the google data studio choose some of the dimension and measure for us for example the record count is uh, selected over here so how we can change the dimension and the measure so that we get the relevant output so for this first of all i will just give it a little bit space and then i'll come over here in the data so this is a very extensive list as you can see talks about what data source we have what is the date range dimension that we want to have uh, similarly uh, what dimension so dimension is something which we want to change let's say i don't want order priority i want customer segment which is a field in this database so i'll select click over there and type here, here in the search it will show me that it has customer name and it has customer segment so i will select customer segment over here and my chart will be selected for the customer segment which now shows that uh, bars for the corporate home office consumer and small business clearly corporate has the more record count that means more number of records because that's the measure google data studio has by default selected so to change that let's say from record count to sales then i will come over here in the metric and select the metric and over here I will start typing because I have a lot of different fields so instead of uh, going one by one I will start writing sales and it will show me the sales over here and now the value of the sales is appearing over here along with this uh, legend which says that bar represents here the sales values now we have sales along with that you can add a couple of more metrics which is relevant let's say you want apart from sales you want to add profit maybe however once we will add profit profit will be comparatively very less as compared to the sales so i've just selected that and here now we have another bar for profit so this profit indicates in the light green color as you can see and uh, to see the values when we put our mouse on top of these bars we need to come over here in the view mode so once we are in the view mode or in the presentation mode it shows the profit for corporate it's uh, somewhere around six hundred thousand uh, dollars but the sale is 5.49 millions and same is the case for these categories so that's minimum what we need to do to create a bar chart or the configure the bar chart as per our needs either for one measure or for multiple measure over here for example you have sales and profit and you can add one more metric over here as per your need. 